Hello everyone, and welcome to my The Young and the Restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Spoilers for The Young and the Restless indicate that while Summer Newman has thought about trying to work things out with Kyle Abbott, he hasn't really shown her any signs of wanting a reunion. In addition, Chance Chancellor has been Summer's true love these days. Chance and Summer seem to be positioning themselves as the next couple to cheer for on Y and R, so is a wedding between these two imminent? Naturally, there are still a few romantic benchmarks that Summer and Chance need to meet before they can say yes to marriage. It's never too early to consider marriage prospects and future events, notwithstanding this. At the moment, Chance is seeing Sharon Rosales, but their relationship doesn't seem like it will last. Chance and Summer may have greater chemistry, therefore Roy and R might end up supporting them sooner rather than later. That might set Chance and Summer up for an arranged marriage quickly. Summer's hasty decision to marry Chance after concluding her divorce from Kyle would undoubtedly cause a great deal of controversy. Summer might follow her heart, as Phyllis Summers advised, even if she would undoubtedly encounter some doubters. Recently, Rory Gibson shared an Instagram story revealing that he was at the CBS studios. We should consider what Noah might do when he returns to Geno City, as it is reasonable to believe he is doing so. Is it possible that Noah will eventually attend Summer and Chance's wedding? Since Summer is Noah's sister, he most likely would have wanted to be there for the momentous occasion. Noah might still attend Summer's wedding even if he feels it's too soon or disagrees with her new marital decision. Though he might end up on the guest list if Chance and Summer decide to have a quick wedding, Noah will still be around for more surprises and stories. Keep checking back for updates on any potential marriage news that may be developing, as the young and the restless spoilers indicate that Summer and Chance will need to decide what their future holds. It looks like Sally Spectra is content with her ex. A genuine date for Sally and Adam is revealed in the young and the restless recap for Thursday, December 14, 2023. Young and the restless. Highlights of the recap. This episode also included Chloe's attempt to persuade Nick to protect Sally from Adam. Michael got a hard time from Victor for taking on Claire's case. Claire was asked to enter a guilty plea due to her insanity by Michael. Given that Nikki went to considerable measures to conceal her drinking, Victoria was concerned about her safety. Jordan had set Victor up. Victor understood. Summer ran into chance, and Pristine wasn't happy to see Danny with Phyllis. Let's examine the events in more detail now. At the GCAC, Sally and Adam had a great date night. They had a flirtatious talk over their meal of hamburgers. Adam even recalled how much she likes spicy food. As their date came to a conclusion, things were a bit awkward. After some back and forth, Adam finally convinced Sally to go out to dinner with him. Chloe met Nick at Crimson Lights. She wanted to discuss how he had saved Sally from Adam, but Nick emphasized that Sally was capable of making her own choices. She simply couldn't bear the idea of Adam depressing Sally once more. Michael was challenged by Victor to take up Claire's case. Michael departed to attend Claire's arraignment, insisting that she should have legal representation. In particular, Victor did not wish him well. Victoria gave Nikki an update at the ranch regarding Michael handling Claire's case. Nikki was not happy to learn that Victoria was worried so much about the young lady. What if, after all, she was exonerated of the accusations and launched another assault on their family alongside Jordan? Jordan offered the police a tip about herself while she was in the motel and phoned the police. With a slew of evidence arranged on the bed, she fled the room swiftly. After returning home, Victor informed Nikki of the circumstances involving Jordan. His spouse declined to take a job at home. Victor left to meet Nick at the GCAC after receiving a text regarding what they had discovered at Jordan's hotel room, where they had observed Adam and Sally having dinner. Nick relented at the behest of his father and let it go. They walked away. Victoria proposed working from the property, but Nikki turned her down. Nikki refilled her flask and grabbed another drink as soon as Victoria departed. 
she went so far as to add more water to the bottle. To check what Jordan had left behind, Nick and Victor arrived at her hotel room. Victor sensed right away that it was too simple. He sensed a setup. Michael arrived to pay Claire a visit. He informed her that, in order to have her released into a mental health hospital, Claire would have to enter a plea of guilty by reason of insanity. Jordan entered a different hotel. She was wearing dark glasses and a wig that was wavy blonde. It is flawless. It's perfect, she said emphatically. When Danny, Michael Damien, opened the door at Daniel's, Phyllis was taken aback. He was working on a new song, but she invited him to lunch. But after a while, Danny had second thoughts about lunch, and they departed. Chance had a meeting with Christine. He informed her that he was going to step down. The news horrified Christine, and she begged Chance to think again. When Summer arrived, Christine bemoaned the fact that she had lost Chance to the police department. Phyllis and Danny burst in laughing as Christine walked out. After Phyllis made some crude remarks, Christine asked to speak with Danny outdoors. Christine became aware of her tone as she continued talking about his having lunch with Phyllis, that of an irate teenager. Danny said to Christine that he was just catching up and having lunch with Phyllis. Naturally, his and Christine's possessions were greater and focused on the future, whereas Phyllis's possessions were centered on the past. As they shared a kiss, Phyllis observed from within. Does Sharon need to monitor her Y and R man more closely? Spoilers for Friday, December 15, 2023's episode of The Young and the Restless show that Summer is definitely a cut above Phyllis, deciding that Chance isn't just who she wants, but also who she deserves. Summer behaved well. Days passed before she finally realized that pursuing Chance was her duty, not just her right, whether Sharon or not. Let's consider this logically. Sharon is a grandmother. Oh no, revolting. Do you recall how much Chance wanted to have a child with Abby? That child will only be, at most, one-third his. Chance must be eager to have his own child. Furthermore, Sharon is too old to offer him one. Summer may, though. Summer adores children. She abducts children of other mothers. So why not also take the man of another woman? From here, where do we go? Kyle was portrayed by Audra, but Kyle eventually worked it out, and Kyle is now playing Audra with his mother's assistance, we consider, also he believes, or at least we believe that to be his opinion. There's a lot of work for Audra and Kyle to do, and that's what they usually do in bed. All we know is that, no matter how this turns out, Kyle will end up looking perplexed and emotional, as usual. Additionally, we believe Ashley believes she is portraying Tucker. In the meanwhile, Tucker may believe he is portraying Ashley. However, we might be mistaken. We lost interest in this business story after six confusing turns. All we know is that Tucker will be extremely understated, no matter how this all turns out. Until he really, truly blows up, Ashley will also appear cunning. Until she appears genuine, as usual. So what do you guys think about this update? Let me know in the comments below. And if you like my videos, please press like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys next time.